Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Well, what? Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. I tell you, you start counting fire like a sucker. I actually just started. Really? Like how, like, like how October recent? October was my first, my first actual professional shoot. Oh, so wow. October 17th, and then we finished it um, on the 31st of, or sorry, the 30th of December, or October. <laughs> I guess, yeah, damn, that's awesome. Yeah, how'd you like it? I mean, did you have kind of like a, any thoughts going into it, like nervousness? Or? I was nervous for the fact that I'm horrible with, scripts I guess you would say or like you know trying to memorize certain things to say because if it's not my own words I'll screw up completely okay. and I'll be like oh crap what what am I supposed to say so then I can just like venture off from there so the first part yeah. is the worst part because then I'm like um what was that first part again like at least like five or six yeah. times and I'm like okay you know what I'll just wing it let's do it but um I mean, yeah. are they really like picky about sticking to the script or can you kind of like ad lib some stuff, you know? I think you can kind of ad lib some stuff. Okay. It, it turned out really, really good. So I'm so excited for that to come out. When when does that come out? Um, we just finished it on the 30th. So I'm not entirely sure actually. I never asked that, but I'm stoked. I'm totally getting a VR headset and I'm gonna watch myself a lot. Like I'm excited. <laughs> there was a lot of butt stuff okay okay <laughs> yeah I mean, you have a preference like whenever you're doing i mean have you have all of your scenes been like solo like all have my, you done oh so like on pornhub and stuff yeah, so, yeah 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 it's all solo and then the day that i decided to get my butt tattooed straight to the hole i'm trying yeah. to keep this pg for youtube so that way you don't get in trouble you're good don't worry. Um, so when I got a tattoo straight to the hole, a random person that, not a random person, but how random it was, a person I used to sleep with back in the day before I got into the adult industry of stripping, um, mm -hmm. we, he's like, hey, I'm in town. Do you want to hang out, meet up for drinks? I'm like, no. And I'm like, I messaged him back. I'm like, actually, are you up for maybe making content tonight? He's like, well, if you want to hang out, let's do it. I'm like, okay, well, I guess we're hanging out. So I stayed in Edmonton yeah. for the night and literally six hours after getting my ass tattooed to the hole we were going to pound town for like two hours Jeez. it hurt but it felt so good <laughs> damn so how many tattoos do you have like do you just lose count i lost count after my sleeve okay. i don't know if you're supposed, that's supposed to be all different or is that supposed to be one giant piece and then my back is all blended in now finally but yeah. um 10 years worth damn all from yeah. the same artist. So was that, like, was the asshole tattoo the most painful? No, it was the Ooh. least painful. He had to tape up my vagina. Otherwise, I would have been like a running faucet. So I actually have the video posted up for free on Pornhub yeah. for viewing. And uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. the end part of the whole, like the whole video, the, the only thing, my most favorite part of that video is at the very end when he peels off that tape. Because you're like, what the heck is on her badge? Like, what is yeah. that? It's so weird because it was just like crumpled up at the end there. So that when he's done, he could just rip it off. It was yeah. so good. If that wasn't on there, I literally, it would have been a running faucet. Jesus, the most painful yeah. one, though, is the one um, right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like on the ribs? Yeah, the sternum, the ribs. Seven and a half hours of peer torture. It wasn't even five minutes in. He did the line. I like looked at my artist. I'm like, can, we, can I just like tap out? He's like, we already got the line, Darcy. He's like, sorry to tell you, but it's going to hurt like hell. He's like, you've never been this yeah. kind of a baby before. I'm like, 
fine, I guess I'll just deal with it. Seven and a half hours of pure torture getting that tattoo done. But it was worth every second of it. And he's so amazing, so professional. And it's just so comforting being near him. So it's worth every second of that pain. Yeah. Well, so good. Damn, really? Yeah. I mean, I would imagine you'd have to have a pretty, like, tight bond with your tattoo artist if he's going to tattoo your asshole. (laughs) 10 years. He's yeah, he's really, very yeah. he's super professional and has never been a creep, thank goodness, because yeah. everybody else turns into one. He has never. I'm blessed on that part. And I can't wait to eventually get tattooed more. I need to get covered. I'm feeling a little naked. Yeah. So do you have plans on just completely filling out like everything? Um, so I want to do straight up to my neck down. My plan was to be completely covered in tattoos by the time I'm 30. I'm 30 now. Okay. Life happens. Yeah. Life got in the way. So yeah. I'm going to pick away at it, but I want a leg sleeve and then work on little things here and there. But the only face tattoos I have are my eyebrows and my lips. So I don't want anything else on my face other than maybe eyeliner. But yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're not gonna do the whole like post Malone like barbed wire and shit? <laughs> no. Well, actually, funny story. Um, so I have a black widow right here. Yeah. So back when I was 24, I think it was more so on the joke side to like throw everybody off and like try to get my parents upset at me. Yeah. Um, so I was on stage in Edmonton at that time at Showgirls and I was so stoked I like looked at everyone I'm like you guys I am getting a face tattoo Monday they're like what are you getting I'm like a black widow and they're like don't do that you're gonna wreck your face I'm like whatever it's just a tattoo you can cover it with makeup or whatever like don't do it so I purposely and intentionally told my artist I was like Trevor I want to get a black widow on my face so he drew it up and he's like, okay, this, he purposely drew it big so that he'd have to shrink it down a bit. He's like, I'm sorry, but if you want to get this on your face, I'm going to have to shave your head. And I'm like, by then my hair was down to my ass. And I was like, yeah. you are not shaving my head. He's like, well, then you're not getting a face tattoo. How about we put it on your neck? It was his plan this whole time to not let me have it on my face. I was just yeah, like, yeah. no, I like wanted it. Cause I wanted like the black widow here with the legs coming around. Was- oh yeah. Yeah. So like I just wanted it there. So he's just like so against it, but wouldn't tell me he was against it until like a few years ago. Yeah. So um <laughs> when my ex yeah. thanked him for not tattooing my face, and it's just like I wouldn't have done it. I tried so hard. If she wanted to shave her head, then I would have, but she didn't, thankfully. So he's like, yeah. yeah. So he put it here, and I'm like, fine, I guess it will go there. Um I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad. After he's like, I, I, I could have made it fit on your face, but I didn't want to. He's like, I'm glad that you yeah. decided with your neck and that you believe me in the fact that it wasn't going to fit on your face. So I was like, you know what? Till this day, I still thank him, even though he doesn't hear me every day. I'm like, I'm so glad I don't have this on my face. Like I would hate my life probably. Yeah. I don't think it would be that bad. I mean, no. if it was small enough. But it's just like those degenerate moments that I'm like, oh yeah, this is a good idea. And then I'm like, yeah. you know, you sleep on it for a long while and like, I'm glad I did not do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, there's that very makes sense. tasteless face tattoos out there. Like that one could have been nice, but it wouldn't have had the detail it has now. And it like this was 2014 mm-hmm. and it still looks so good. Yeah. So I'm just Yeah, kidding. I mean he definitely is really talented. Because, like, all of your tattoos are done, like, so well. Thank you. And they're so old. Like, this is 10 years old, and they're, it still held its color. That's 10 years old? 10 years old. I got, I got this in 2010, and we finished it by, like, 2013 mm-hmm. down here. Because I just, we filled this, we did this, and then we put the, the other koi down here with a little bit of the outline. So it was just, like, very un, not put together yet. And then uh, right, right. just when I started having more time, because I worked two years straight. So then in between times um, back then when I wasn't drinking and I had a weekend off or, you know, a couple of days off during the weekday, I'm like, hey, are you free? Or like, he's like, hey, I have free time if you want to start working on that arm so we can finish yeah. it and move on to something else. 
Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah, I mean, if you ever want to get a matching tattoo, just let me know. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of matching tattoo do you want to get? Well, I mean, you kind of beat me to the asshole tattoo, so I guess we can't do that one, but. I have the funniest thing to tell you. So I was watching a friend on Twitch. His name is Bruno and he was in Big Brother three and five. Um, okay. So I'm on Twitch the other day because how I had met him was through a girlfriend was like, hey, like this, he's watched your tattoo get done and loves it. So could you do yep. me a huge favor, reach out to him? I'm like, yeah, of course. I'm like I'll do that so like jokingly the one day I saw that he was on Twitch so because of my other one wasn't my work name I think it was like Darcy Govan my by the way I have everything public anyway it's my real name with my work name so Darcy and Darcy so um <laughs> so I get on there and I'm like well I might as well make a new account so I put Miss Darcy Diamond and I click in and I'm like put the little devil face on through my phone and I'm with my girlfriend because she's just about to start my nails. We actually have a clip of it because she started recording. I died. I laughed so hard. I almost pissed myself. And it's just like, uh, what, what he says, like, oh my gosh, you guys, the girl that I was talking about nonstop, he's like, she's in here right now. Like that, the people are commenting like, that's not her. Is it really yeah. her? And I'm just like, hey guys, it's actually me. <laughs> And so now I just like pop up on the Twitch every now and then we just sit there and hang out. But yesterday, so on Twitch, he had rated a person and it was the guy's birthday playing, I think he was playing Diablo. Um, mm -hmm. So goes in because he's like, what, who should we rate? I'm like, I searched Diablo because I love Diablo. I still play it till this day since I was seven years old. Um, yeah, yeah. So rated him, whatever super cool like they became friends and now they like go back and forth on each other's channels so i get on i get on yesterday and there's this lotus with like a little center that looks like a puckered up butthole and i'm like looking and i'm like i message is like did my is that an emoji of my lotus tattoo like yep it is your balloon knot with a lotus flower around it on Twitch and I'm like, oh my gosh. So everybody's like posting this thing up. And then now when people are like talking, like, are you still on here? I'm putting up these little balloon knot lotuses. <laughs> and it was the person that was his birthday uh, that he first rated, created it. He's like, so how are you liking the balloon knot? And I'm like, you made this? And like, yeah, he made it. I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. Like I'm in love. I wish I could save it on my phone and send it to everybody. Yeah, well, I mean, that's how you know that you made it. Whenever there's an emoji of your asshole, like, oh my God. <laughs> that's like an Oscar. <laughs> it's the absolute best. I'm in love with it. I'm like, I am already can't wait to go on later today just to, like, click it. And yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah, well, shit, I don't know. We'll figure something out. I do really want to get another tattoo. Like, it's such a weird, like, addiction. I mean, I don't have many, like I'm an amateur by like compared to you for especially, but it's weird how like after you get one, like that's all you can think about. Like it's like a drug, like it's a weird way to describe to people who have never gotten one, but. The only things I'm addicted to is food, tattoos, trying to catch a nap. That never, that doesn't happen after you have children. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> And yeah, hot showers, hot, hot showers. But um, where was I going with this? Tattoos. I, I yeah. till this day, when it comes to needles, freak out. Really? Like, I will sit like, there for like 20 minutes in the chair or on the, the chair that reclines or whatever. He's like, are you ready? I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not ready just yet. And he's like, Darcy, you've been coming here for how long? How come? every time you get so nervous and try to psych yeah. yourself out i'm like okay just let me breathe <sighs> okay get going and now i'm just like i'll go what to do i'm like wait <laughs> hang on a second don't do it i i think i need a drink of water <laughs> or it's like do you have any advil because i only take advil when i'm getting yeah, yeah. and uh and i 
instead of Advil now, it's pineapple juice and pineapples because it's a natural antiperspirant, uh, natural inflammatory. Yeah, anti-inflammatory. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that word. So I just now I've been eating pineapples and I drink um, pineapple juice like crazy when I'm getting tattooed. That's all I have. And yeah. honestly, it's maybe that's why my butt was just completely painless. It felt so good. That's crazy. Like I would, like I, I mean, of course I saw the video and I was like, this has to be the most painful. Like the whole time I was like, like shaking. I was like, holy shit. I, there's no I like my my lady part just like clench up and i'm like oh my god that looks so good <laughs> damn yeah that's crazy that you still get nervous to get a tattoo though like with tattoo. so many done is it just the like anticipation yes okay that i mean I'm, that makes more sense because it's not like a pain thing clearly no i love the pain but it's just like yeah the anticipation that has been built up being so excited for it and then for it to happen it's like everything being released and i'm a huge adrenaline junkie like i went skydiving um in 2011 and the like the, i was mortified going up in that plane i'm like oh my god i'm gonna die this is how i'm gonna die because of the enclosed metal space and you're just like stuck in there i'm like oh my god i have a life right now so yeah. uh then That's obviously crazy. when you know they're talking to you and they tell you to put your feet on the plane or the wing of the plane and you know as soon as they open that door and I put my feet on the wing I was like okay I'm ready and then I was just so super calm that I didn't even scream and then my buddy jumps off behind me with the other guy and you can hear him screaming and he's just like are you like not phased right now I'm like this is so cool he's like do you smoke weed I'm like no <laughs> just enjoying every second of it I'm like I'm I'm living the moment right now. That's crazy. Yeah, like I'm collecting. There's no way I could skydive. Like I have no like threshold for adrenaline. I don't know why, but like, but it's also like if I skydove, I guess skydove is the past. I don't know. But if I went skydiving, and the parachute did not open, like my big, if my big ass hitting the ground would probably bring us into a new ice age. Like, <laughs> don't say that. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm telling you that I just like I have no tolerance for like adrenaline I don't no. know why yeah so, never have like the one thing I couldn't do though is bungee jump like I can't be tied up like that like I could be tied up I'll be happy but when it comes up to that I'm like I ain't dying smash my face on a side of something and becoming like minced meat yeah hell yeah yeah, I'd rather what's free fall and like the shoot not open. I'm like, well, at least I know I enjoyed my life and this is how I wanted yeah. to go out. <laughs> Damn, yeah. What's like, do you have a bucket list of like things that you want to try, like adrenaline wise? Uh, porn was at the top of that one and it finally got ticked off. But like I said prior, um, before today, is it's not just something that I wanted to check off my bucket list to say I did it. It's something that I it was like my end goal. Okay. Yeah. So right, right. I'm like excited for more to come, like more scenes and stuff to come and do mm -hmm. more and like, you know, um, not try new meat out, but just make mm -hmm. new content professionally for, um, the bigger people, I guess you would say, like not the bigger people, bigger than myself, right? Because right, I've right. been doing it solo myself or like the, mm -hmm. the duo one I did with my male friend. Um, we decided to do the one day right after getting my ass tattooed. And then yeah. the girl on girl I had did with a girl that I have worked with, one of my girlfriends mm -hmm. that I did stage with. Um, so that's the only two duo ones that I have. I probably have more floating around from ex relationships, but you know how that works. They don't want to give you that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, do you see it being something that you'll do for like a pretty long time? My goal now, I guess you could say now my, my bucket list is I want to make it into the guilt porn until I can't. <laughs> and then after that, I can go do social work if they haven't seen any of the videos and non judgmental. And I'll go work in a dental office because I'm still in school since this whole COVID stuff happened. Yeah. Um, uh, for dental uh, administration, mm -hmm. like in the front office area. So I'm like, when I'm like super elderly, I'm like, I can go do that. No problem. Yeah, 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't think there's really like a cutoff point for porn. Like there's some people that are well up there in age that are still. And they doing. do so good. Like they're so good at what they do. So well, yeah, they, for me, I'm they, like, I started stripping when I was 20. I started stripping on stage when I was 22. Um, yeah. so I've always just like been in love with the whole adult industry. So mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do porn since I was young, like before yeah. I was 18. Yeah. Obviously yeah. like, you know, childhood trauma and stuff did lead up to it, <laughs> but I don't care because that's made me who I am today. And, oh, yeah. uh, yeah. So I'm so happy. I finally got to try it out and I love it. So I can't wait to do more yeah. actually when i get off i'm probably gonna attempt to do a couple videos edit them and post more because mm -hmm. i've already posted three free videos on Pornhub. yeah do you do an only fans too i do yeah i have everything on there everything so i have okay. full videos like so the videos that are on say that are for sale on ph mm -hmm. i have for free on only fans yeah. And then um, I'm actually releasing the trailer this weekend, the one that I did with Shred. So in between our mm -hmm. professional shoot, we did a shoot here at my place. And it's mm -hmm. like all positions, including a lot of butt stuff. I'm so stoked. Yeah. It turned out so good. I edited it and I did a yeah. trailer. I can't wait. It's so <laughs> good. Yeah. And I know other people will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creeping on it <laughs> so you don't get like i mean do you get like a performance anxiety i mean you must not if like mm, so i'm gonna start with stage so okay. when i first started doing stage um because like even when i did canadian cover girls before doing stage it was like mm -hmm. that brief like i need to catch my breath and then i couldn't catch it and then as soon as i was like okay you're on like not you're on but they're like oh please welcome darcy diamond and i'm like Okay, act normal so I do and then when I started doing stage in strip clubs um I literally like the first few minutes before they call your name to this like before, like please welcome and I would like literally be shaking I'd be shaking like oh my god I'm gonna pass out and that still doesn't go away only because when I know I feel like that even with doing stags if I feel that anxiety, that anxious, like excited anxiety, like I don't know what to call it because I don't know what it is in that moment. But in the end, it's like, I know I'm going to do good because I actually care about my job. And I'm just like sitting there like, okay, what's going on? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Like, just go with the flow. Don't fall on your face. Don't yeah. fall off the pole. Yeah. <laughs> so then when I did my first scene, um, so when there's other people in the room, I was just like, I've never did it. I've never done anything with other people yeah. around, like, you know, in a professional setting or like, let alone someone else recording. Cause it was mm -hmm. awkward at first when my girlfriend and I did our um, video together. Cause I was like, oh mm -hmm. shit, like, are we recording us together? Like with the camera mm -hmm. and stuff and a ring light, I'm like, oh, this is a, uh, this is interesting. But then I, yeah. I loved, I loved it. So then with him and then us doing our thing and I'm like, mm -hmm. Like, am I allowed? Am I allowed to moan? Is this okay? Like, is this, is this <laughs> yeah. weird? Like, am I am I supposed to be doing it like this? I'm like, then I was like, you know, I'm like, whatever. I'll just do it. Yeah. And so when we came back and did everything, I like full on was like looking at the camera and like, oh my god, yeah. Like, just look into my soul and like how much I'm enjoying every second of all this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like. Because I would imagine, which I mean, I've never done either one, but I would imagine that like stripping would be more, like more nerve wracking, like just in the sense that like the people that are watching you aren't a part of the show. You know what I mean? Like there are people that are just are in here. Nobody really, you don't know who these people are, but, it, but when you're doing like a scene, even if there's, you know, like a, it's a huge production, like a lot of crew and everything, you know that all those people are in there, like are kind of supposed to be in there. Does that yeah. make sense? That's true. So pro tip about stripping for whoever wants to hear this and wants to get into it, um, even though the industry is going downhill. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, 
I need glasses to see. So after two feet, everything's blurry. So every time I'm on stage, my glasses come off. I don't see nothing. So I will stare in the direction of someone because then they have no idea that I need glasses to see them. So I'm just like, you know, one-on-one yeah. -on -one type thing. But if they're up on stage, like sitting on per row, I will crawl up to them and like, you know, just like kind of look at them, play with myself a bit and like, you know, turn around, shake my butt for them and just do a few other little tricks I have up my sleeve to like really get them like glued, I guess you'd say. Like, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll do that. And like, literally, I just, I like being lost in the music up there and then just mm -hmm. doing my thing. Like, I don't have a set routine. I just go up there and kind of after 10 years, right? You're in robot mode. Yeah, for sure. And maybe even after 10 years you're in robot mode. So I'm just like, mm -hmm. I do my thing up there. And then I just, I just love it. Like the music, the costumes, like. Yeah. I've, I've invested so much into it that when I do go on autopilot some days, it's just, it's, it's natural. It's not like, what the right. heck is this weirdo doing on stage? Is yeah. she having a seizure or something? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So do you still do it? Well, I mean, I guess it's probably pretty hard to do it now, but I mean. No, I actually, so I moved to Kelowna. Uh, I okay. moved away from B Alberta because that's, I was in Red Deer. I've always loved working in Red Deer. I still love that place till this day, mm -hmm. but I wanted to, after this whole shutdown and everything happened and work was out, I came to Kelowna and I hung out here since March. Well, the area was an inn here. Um, yeah. And literally I just enjoyed the whole summer of like the beautiful weather it was like you know i was dark dark but yeah. my son loved it too because he would be like every morning mom it's beautiful weather outside today let's go play <laughs> like sorry kiddo we can't go play but we can enjoy it on the balcony because we weren't allowed yeah. at parks or anything and um yeah so after august no so when july hit i was like you know what I'm getting a place and then um, with the help of my ex, help with like the movers and everything, align, align that all up and everything. And then found this place, got it. And um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I yeah. love it here. So I have been moved. And then when I decided that when I moved, because I, my last stage show was I think in Red Deer at Ecstatic. Mm -hmm. And then when I packed everything up to leave, because I was just freelancing, it's like, hey, can you come in and do dances? You know, for, because I was like, yeah, I'll be there till Monday because the movers weren't supposed to be there till, or they were supposed to be there Sunday. And then they weren't supposed to have stuff at this place here till Monday or Tuesday. But sure. they showed up Friday. They're like, yeah, we're here Friday. And then we're going to be there Saturday morning. I'm like, I was supposed to work this whole time yeah um so i was just like hey whatever i'm like messaged i'm like hey sorry i'm not gonna be able to make it in the, the movers just called and i have to get everything mm -hmm. packed within like 24 yeah. hours so it literally it took me 24 hours to pack my whole place i was like i'm surprised it even happened yeah Damn. and then i had like a bunch of stuff in a bin and it was like all packed up and everything put everything on kijiji i'm like big bin full of like there was a deep fryer in there never used like maybe used to toys actually <laughs> with like yeah. a French press, a coffee maker. Um, I had oh, two slow cookers. So I put like the, the bigger slow cooker in there because I wanted the smaller mm -hmm. one. So just like a bunch of stuff. And it was so cute. This lady, like this elderly mm -hmm. lady ends up calling and got everything was like super grateful. And her husband wanted to help me pack and everything. Like, no, 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 no. You guys are helping me lots by just taking this off my hands. Cause it was like full dish sets and everything. I was like, I'll just get everything when I go and move. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I always yeah, like to like just give stuff away for free. I'm like, here, just take this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, was the like how was the shutdown as far as because like I'm in Texas, so we did not have much of a shutdown. I love like, Texas. Yeah. I mean, it's great, but like no one gave a shit. We were like, well, like so with that being said um when everything shut down so i did my last stage show on the 16th of march packed up the vehicle took my son with me to Kelowna before he spent the summer with my parents because we didn't know how long this like what was going to happen right so mm -hmm. i didn't know that anything was going to be shut down just yet because i was booked for the, like i was going to come back 
in two weeks to go work. So spend two weeks and then, you know, vacation, drop Alex off or not, she was supposed to start school. Um, mm -hmm. So that weekend I had an email saying that school is shut down for the rest of the school year. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> so I yeah. called my mom crying. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, you don't even re watch the news or look at Facebook or anything. I'm like, no, I'm like clueless what's going on. She's like, everyone's yeah. getting shut down. The borders are supposed to close down. Uh, the, even like the, the provincial borders. I'm like, uh, mm -hmm. what? And she's like, yeah, I'm like, mom, I'm in Kelowna. I live in Red Deer and you're all the way in Saskatchewan. I was like, what am I supposed mm -hmm. to do? Cause like on time off, I'd always drive out to go see her. So she's like, um, if you like, you can bring Alex here and he'll spend, you know, summer with us because he always hangs out for the summer. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Eventually, like, you know, she persuaded me into it. So I was like, okay, fine. Yeah. Like, and then he'll come home for school. Hopefully school starts up again. But mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that whole entire time, because once the clubs finally did open up after three months. Yeah, it was good yeah. for the first day. The first mm -hmm. day was so good. After that, it was like shows were rolling. You maybe make like a hundred bucks in a day, including mm -hmm. your stage shows. Yeah, yeah. So you're just like, Fuck, it's not. Why? Why am I driving back for a yeah. week's worth of time? And like, you know, getting again, like, getting asked to go other places and treated like shit from the agency. Mm -hmm. And like, just the drama with everything because of how shitty everything is not how shitty everything is but like everything right, that's right. going on with how shitty it is like the mm -hmm. girls are just like fighting back and forth and you're just like oh my gosh like I cannot yeah. stand one more argument so I literally after you know the last straw of like Instagram drama nonsense I was just like you know what I'm done I'm done with this industry I'm done with the mm -hmm. girls I love the girls that I have met that have been solid you know, mm -hmm. bless their hearts. I'm like, but I'm done. So I was like, I'm moving to Kelowna. Pat, like made the, I set it all in stone. I was like, I'm going to move. I'm going to, you know, stop dancing. I'm still doing stags. So like just private parties like here or around in the BC area and um, like private parties and events. But obviously that's not happening now at the moment because Vancouver is on lockdown again. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So there's no there's no stags happening for a while. We've all been yeah. informed about that. So now it's just like you know you got to create your content because if it's coming to Kelowna fully, um, then uh -huh. you're gonna need to get your butt into gear and start posting stuff online to make money. Well, I mean that is kind of where OnlyFans becomes yeah pretty important though, and I mean it seems like that's been able to work for a lot of people so. Yeah, I had, a total, had a total of 400 and some people on there, but it's like, you know, you'll get it going good. And then it's like, everybody's on Instagram being like, not Instagram, sorry, uh, Twitter. Cause you know how you can have like the threads. Yeah. Oh my God. Who else is having a bad time on uh, OnlyFans? I'm like, well, for one, I don't post a lot. Like I post a lot, but that's why I have everything on there and like the videos, like full videos and stuff like that, right? Because yeah. I put it for such a cheap price of $11 and 11 cents monthly rather than $20 or $30. And not then, you know, I'm not charging people an arm and a leg to watch these videos because if they want to stay subscribed monthly, they can come back to these videos nonstop. Yeah. And so I'm just going to start, like I stopped posting videos on there for a while because I was just like, how... Like, cause then it just like dropped down. I was like, Hey, I'll start sending them to people in the messages. And like, you know, the yeah. people are paying for it in the messages, but I'm like, wait, but then the people who already are on there who love watching the videos that pop up every now and then, because people mm -hmm. would tip on it. I was like, great. What the heck am I doing? I'm like, Hey, no, I need to go back to posting regular, you know, full videos mm -hmm. every now and then on my page, because then everybody who pays for it, because not everybody can afford 20 bucks, which is us mm -hmm. a month. Right. So I'm just right. like, Hey, no. It, like I've always stuck my price at 11, 11 and mm -hmm. I'm, it's going to continue staying that way. Even though a lot of girlfriends do tell me that I'm underselling myself, but I'm like, it's not underselling. I'm like, I appreciate the people that I have on there because they come from suicide girls and like, you know, the clubs and stuff like that, that I've worked at. So they've been super loyal. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's like, obviously you could charge more, but 
Yeah, but I don't want to because I, I like the the little feet. Like even though not many people know my content on there because that's mm -hmm. why I only have like right now I think I have like 98 active people on there from the 400 and mm -hmm. some because I right. give away a lot of free trials. Right. Like I'll randomly right. post up like for free trials for a week or three days and then, you know, mm -hmm. So many people will jump on that and then I don't have it closed off to people who've already subscribed. I have it open for everybody. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, whatever, if you want to just create one for three days, you can go look at it. Yeah. If you want to subscribe, you can do that. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but you can see what stuff is on there if you like, because clearly mm -hmm. before me posting it up for free for a little short time, people would never have known what was on there or that, you know, my only fan fans page exists or like, you know, like, oh, is she just one of these girls that like, says she posts stuff up there but it's just like her yeah. in like a little church outfit being like yeah. hey so can I have some more bread <laughs> yeah damn yeah I know that's that's definitely the letdown because that's the one bad thing about OnlyFans is that everyone can do it which I guess can be a good thing too but there's that's a lot of people who are kind of like scamming people playing it up and like you know not yeah I've, I've heard a lot of things about that because girls will be like pissed off and I'm just like, whatever, just do you. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing or what, you know, is going on with that. Just keep doing yeah. what you're doing and eventually it's quality over quantity. Eventually you'll get That's those true. people that will stay loyal to you and then, and other girls hopefully that don't mess mm -hmm. that up, but you just got, it's just the waiting game on that. Like yeah. it's, it's still such a new platform that you got to wait, mm -hmm. not wait it out, but Rome wasn't built in a day right right yeah exactly oh. like yeah i mean you have to have patience to for anything that's going to actually be something that will last exactly like if you have no patience i mean you can't really accomplish anything so no. that makes sense i mean do you have like do you have a bucket list as far as in the adult film industry like now that you're starting to do like more professional scenes like things that you want to try so I think I checked a lot off because I've never done mm -hmm. anal. Well, I've done anal like recently, but before it was like, ugh. the first time I did anal, I was 14. <laughs> and that was a big wiener. I was like my first real boyfriend in school of like a year. And I was just like, baby welded it up. And I was like, stick it in. Cause I was a delinquent little kid. Um, anyway. Well no, it could be worse. So I, whenever I lost my virginity, it was anal. Like, was it? <laughs> yeah. So like, it's a very embarrassing story, but whatever. Why? Um, I, well, I wanna, I mean, can I hear this, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so like I was, I don't know, like fif 15. I, yeah, I was like 15 and I was like talking to this girl who was like quite a bit older than me. So I was like already kind of like intimidated, you know? yeah and uh she was like and so like i said i was a virgin so she was like well you know you could come over and like we can have sex and i was like super fucking excited so i like was on my way to her house and everything and then she had texted me on the way and was like hey uh we might have to reschedule like i just got my period and i was like ah oh. and i was like thinking i was like what do i do so i was like well i could still just come hang out she was like okay so <laughs> when we got there like the first thing she said was like i mean i guess we could just do butt stuff and i was like uh okay <laughs> like whatever like i was like i've never even had like regular sex but all right let's do it and so we did that and then like had sex with her while she was on her period so i'd really knocked off like two two pretty big check marks on my first time so that is cool. awesome yeah, on, was... on your period it is so good because like you're already in like so much pain and stuff so that extra yeah. friction and like the the massaging the inside out i guess you would say is like the greatest see i thought it was like because i mean like i said i was like 15 and dumb as shit which i still kind of am but like i thought it was gonna be like terrible for her so i didn't want to do it i was like well no like you're like on your period i can't do that <laughs> And then like, she was like super into it. And I was like, oh, well, I guess this is like a thing. And your senses yeah. are like so high. Yeah, that's what well, she kind of like described it afterwards like that. I was like, that didn't like 
hurt or something because I'm just dumb and it's being like that if there's blood you must be in pain like you know and I was like it didn't hurt and she's like no like not at all I was like what the oh, fuck oh like, my I goodness lose. I wish you would have had this on video <laughs> well that would have been yeah. nice to watch <laughs> it wouldn't no so you were <laughs> Edward Cullen before Edward Cullen came out <laughs> hell yeah that's a uh, the old uh, text is saying, if the Red River's flowing, take the dirt road home. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you like blow. Yeah, I mean, I kind of just did both, I guess. So. <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. Yeah. So what, uh, I mean, do you have anything else like on, on like the old bucket so, list? Um, I really enjoy watching like orgies or like gangbangs. Okay. So not saying I personally like I want to do this, but right. if it comes up that, you know, hey, you know, if it ever comes up, just throwing it out there for anybody watching this, anybody <laughs> professionally watching this, yeah, not some Joe Blow. Right, right. Hey guys, uh, so you want to get together? I got, I found a girl. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not happening. Stranger yeah. danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to Picton me with the pigs yeah um how often does that happen like just random people think that you would want to have sex with them you should see you know my I mean? inbox on Pornhub it's like <laughs> hey so I see you live in the Kelowna area I would love to shoot with you and I'm just like you I'm like I don't even click in the message but sometimes I'm like yeah. why do people say stuff like this do you click on their page and you're just like no <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> like I know no definitely not yeah. even girls too like oh hey we should make content mm -hmm. like um how would I just go pick up a live fish from the store and just suck it in <laughs> yeah duh, that's so weird I mean it's not surprising because people are fucking crazy but right yeah. oh yeah so as I was saying is um if I was to get approached professionally on you know oh hey like there's a scene of like you know these guys are like you know another girl and whatever amount of guys i'd be like shit like that's taking it to a whole new level but i would definitely like you know obviously talk to my boyfriend about that and then be like so this scene came up and he knows that i watch that kind of stuff right so yeah, yeah. sorry if you're watching this i'm so open <laughs> you know it's open i am so anyways um <laughs> I was like looking at him like a puppy dog being like, can I do this scene? It's going to be so yeah. good. Like I'll make, I'll, I'll, I promise I'll do good. I'll make you proud, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how I feel. If that's like, if that came to me, but like, so oh, this is going to be going on. I'd be like, um, there's a bear shit in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my answer. What, what would be like your limit? For the amount of people <laughs> well it, okay so it wouldn't really be a limit like i've always wanted a bukkake okay so i would just be like you know you, you see the, the, those porns with those girls just like sitting yeah. there and they're just like all thanking it i'd be like i yeah fucking fill my facial up please okay yeah 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 Damn. my teeth whitening I, I need to whiten my teeth a bit just just fill me up might as well yeah. do the skin and the teeth at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. Yeah. Oh my God. Sound <laughs> you can't use silence of the lambs quotes in a why porn. not? Well, I guess you can. I'm like, obsessed. Oh, That's really? why I have this death moth tattoo on my neck. I oh. love Hannibal Lecter. I'm obsessed since I was a kid. That's one of my yeah, that's one of my favorite movies. Silence Red of the Red Dragon. Lambs. Oh my gosh. Red Dragon's a good one too. But the original, just like regular Silence of the Lambs. So um, Buffalo Bill is one of like the most unintentionally funny movie characters. <laughs> like, uh, like, like, oh, wait, you're about to sign 11? Like, how he talk? <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah. If you could make, because, you know, like, there's a, a porn parody of like every movie, what movie would you do? Silence of the Lambs, and I'd be the one in that hole. 
<laughs> yeah, well, damn, well, I forgot her name. Catherine something. That was the girl's name. But yeah, yeah. When he's, damn, that's a good one. Yeah, he's like, don't you hurt my dog. <laughs> damn. Yeah, that's a good one. Damn. Who was your, so I'll do like, I have like little rapid fire questions. Uh, who was your childhood crush? My childhood crush, um, Tobias Miller. Um, so growing up in Yellowknife, I went to Sir John Franklin School later in my days, finding out that he graduated there. Uh, so um, Disturbing Behavior is the movie, and he's one of the actors in there. Mm -hmm. I was in love with him growing up. And he also played the prince off, um, I think, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. What? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I do know what you're talking about. Disturbing behavior kind of sounded familiar, but I couldn't like picture it's, it. But yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. Um, where they have like these preppy kids and like they do like mm -hmm. this kind of surgery on them. So they're all technically like robots, not robots, but like something with their eye. Right, like, right. They do, like this eye like thing. Such a good movie. So that was like one of my favorite ones, like those kind of movies growing up, only because mm -hmm. I watched it just to watch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what he does nowadays, but that, yeah. that was, yeah, my childhood crush. That's a good one. Yeah, mine was like Lil' Kim or like Carmen Electra. Is that like the lip gloss song? My lip gloss is that? No, that's uh, Lil' Mama, I think. Oh, I'm glad you Lil Kim. With Avril Lavigne, Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim's the one that did um that Lady Marmalade, you know, with Christina Aguilera. Oh. Okay, yeah, she is beautiful. Yeah, it was like her and Carmen Electra because I just watched like MTV Spring Break. And <laughs> Carmen Electra, was always, I know Carmen Electra was always on there. It's like, good God. And she's like 50 and still like looks the exact same. Even um, uh, who did they post up at seven? Who's 70 right now? It's, it's not. I mean, Angela Bassett, I think, is like 62. I mean, there's a few that are like, I don't know. I mean, Vanna White, you know, from Will of Fortune, she's like in her 60s. She is so beautiful. Still looks good. It's crazy. Like, I'm 26 and I've aged like a damn banana. And some of these people like don't age. <laughs> <laughs> so like that banana over there, I take it. I'd rather put you, I'm going to crack an egg over you, squish you a bit and make you into a protein pancake. <laughs> Thank you. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. <laughs> Have other people said that? Hell no. <laughs> oh, I was like, am I really that lame? Dad jokes no. over here. No, I, I'm, that is the first time anyone's ever told me they were going to make me into a protein pancake. But well, you I appreciate it. With banana, so, and I love bananas. Oh. I actually <laughs> just posted up a compilation of banana blowjobs on Pornhub yesterday <laughs> yeah well we have that in common <laughs> all right what's your like go-to song like or, do you listen to music when you have sex because some people are either they have to have it or don't want it at all i i don't even it just happens so with me there doesn't have yeah. to be music obviously if you don't like the person and you've had sex with them it's like Okay, well, I'm going to turn this up, put my socks on, and, you know, let's go to Pound Town. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, so, if I had to listen to music, well, actually, it used to be Savage Garden. Savage Garden? Savage Garden. Like, hold on. Uh, like, to the moon and back, uh, Cherry yeah. Cola. Cherry Cola, that's the one that I, I was thinking you. of. Yeah, yeah, holy shit, Savage Garden. Yeah, so I it was like that, that back in my younger days. Now it's just like, if there's music around, there's music around. If there's not, then it's just like, yeah. Yeah, that's you're enjoying intelligent. like the everything else around you. Yeah, you're bringing me back to being a kid, like Savage Garden. I remember them like whenever I was a little kid, you know, like watching MTV. Hello to them. <laughs> that little kid in her bed, just like. Yeah, I mean. So we've all sorry, been there. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. You're good. We've all been there. I don't know. I mean, right? I'm not the only one that's done it. No, nah, I used to do it to like 
like basically just all rap videos like nelly videos and shit like hot in here like there's they're like big pimpin but jay-z like all those videos have like like a hundred of like the hottest women ever was mine like, was God. interview whenever interview the vampire played i had to go in my room <laughs> damn that's a good one is that oh, so what's your, like what do you think is like the like best like like a non-sexual trait that's a turn on to you smiling being smiling. a gentleman like i love guys that are like a true gentleman not just for show yeah but like you know sh- how do you say that Ch- chivalry isn't dead chivalry chivalry chivalry, chivalry. chivalry. yeah chivalry. so like yeah, you chivalry. know guys that still like you know go to open the door even though i'm i try to do it myself it's like smack yeah, me yeah. like oh, hey what was that for like <laughs> let me do that for you i'm like oh shit. yeah like i i need to go change my underwear can we just uh uh so that yeah. the car door i'm just like i can't i i actually still people still actually do it it's so cute when you see elderly people do that like the lady will be sitting there or guy and then the, the dominant one will come open the door yeah. like, it's just so cute <laughs> My heart. yeah that's now that's a good one yeah. um so yeah being a like a true gentleman um when people smile so to me it's not about appearances I have an obsession with teeth that's why I like got my braces done and everything yeah I had adult braces at at 26 yeah no I wasn't even 26 yet it's just before I turned 26 I had it for like a year and a half I want them back I love them I highly suggest anyone that wants them that are like oh my god it's so ugly like I, I could never do it it's the greatest greatest gift you can give to yourself yeah I mean, I had braces like twice as a kid. I mean, I didn't have them like since then, but yeah, I'm so glad that I did because I, I would have. I couldn't afford it as a kid. Rough. Like I would have looked like a fucking alligator if I didn't have. <laughs> I mean, it's the personality that counts because if yeah. some of the people that I've been with, mm-hmm. people are like afterwards, they're like, what the hell, Darcy? Like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, were you seriously dating this person? I'm like, yeah. why? What's wrong? Like, he's like, you know, 400 pounds or whatever. Like, looks like this, looks like that. I'm like, you know what? To me, it's not about personality. I'm sorry. To me, it's not about the looks. It's about personality and how right. they've treated me, like, through all this time. So then, like, yeah. No. no, I'm with like, oh my god. <laughs> you ever seen that Viking show? I haven't actually sure. watched it fully. There's like some like Viking show. show. Viking. Like he's got like yeah. long, he's got like long hair and then oh, yeah. he puts it up in his like little man bun and stuff. I'm like, uh, I've been hanging. I, I've been seeing people that don't have much hair or shave it or like there's no growth there. So I, I love hair pulling. Okay. The fact that I get to pull his hair and you know do all the stuff that I want to do, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this finger's empty. It's been empty for thirty years, so it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I know. I'd never let my hair grow out anymore because, like, I have so much fucking gray hair now. Did it, it like salt really... and peppers in? The ladies love it. No, but it looks, it looks like I didn't notice how much of it I have until like I let it grow out a little bit. I'm like, holy shit. Like this, this came out of nowhere. You can like, box dye it just like you can box dye your beard the same color, but it will look so bold. And it's just like, <laughs> did you just yeah, like believe that on true. your face or what happened here? <laughs> it's like, no, I grew yeah. in like this. Oh. <laughs> I, let's see. And then what's a fetish, like a popular fetish that you just don't really understand? A popular like fetish like, I that I don't understand. Uh, yeah. I mean, not necessarily that you don't understand, but you're just like, how are people into this? They're not like shit and stuff like that, but like. So 
I don't like talking about exes, but I would wake up and look over. It was like a short relationship, but we were best friends for a long time. So I'll probably end up watching yeah. this and hating me, but I don't care. He's a freak. Um, so I'd be in bed sleeping, and all of a sudden I could hear something on the TV, and I'm like, fuck. And he's sitting there just like, yeah. And I'm looking over, I'm like, can you like not watch this around me? It's girls eating whatever so that way when the people like it's like yeah. forceful and like hardcore and it's like vomit and like poop and like just what? like like what? I'm like how I'm like this is not even cute like it's not even hot I'm like there's so, like there's a lot of ones that are hot out there but it's like yeah how God. are you dating me but you can watch this I'm like I feel like I'm not good enough, but yet I, I see what you're watching and I'm like, yeah, what is wrong with you? Yeah, that's like, like that's the definition of a red flag. Right? <laughs> like, and I'm just like, that? I feel like I'm going to puke in my coffee cup right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, I mean, that's definitely a weird one. I just, like, I always mention it, but like foot fetishes. Like, I just, I don't get it. Like it's I, a mild thing, but I just I don't I've never seen feet that I were like that I was like, holy shit, look how sexy these feet are. So there's there's this guy that would always come in. I've never had him personally, but I've seen him come mm -hmm. in a couple of times and take girls. He would want their dirty, stinky socks. And at the same time, too, he'd want their heels, I believe. Maybe it's two different people. Either way, two different things, right? Maybe the same right. thing. But like he would want their like the heel inside of his like drink, and then like he'd want them to like step on their his packaged area, and I'm like, how do people actually like get enjoy this? Like I don't what? know, like stinky socks. I'm like, oh, I can't oh. even stand my son's clothing pile because it's just like. <laughs> kiddo what are you eating yeah. like not because obviously it's not like that but right you're right sweating out of your system that makes makes you sweat like you're five how are, how do you need pit yeah. already and i mean i mean stinky socks is one thing but wanting someone to like walk on your balls right. is a bold move actually i uh i need to put some underwear on because i i just finally finished up that time of the month and i had somebody um from mfc purchase uh panties from me so i gotta wear them for a couple of days and you know get them juiced up for them and send them out god so now that it's been a little while i'm gonna have to like expedite it to him so then that way he gets it like asap <laughs> so i'll do that god. damn like there's so many ways that you can make money it's insane <laughs> Like, insane just like the custom videos i never got the whole custom video thing until i opened OnlyFans, mm -hmm. and then i was just like people were like oh hey can you make a video with you know saying my name I'm like yeah 150 thinking they'd say no and they're like okay what's your email i'm like do i really have to work right now no, i'm just kidding i enjoy yeah. every second of it tell me what yeah. you want i'll do it because i have a set price for my only fans for mm -hmm. well i now dropped it down to a hundred because of this whole crap going on so who knows who's still working who's not working i don't care i just want to make other people happy so then that's why i also put my stuff up for free sometimes when i'm having a bad day i'm like hey, i don't want to get out of bed i'm like you know what i'm just gonna put my only fans free for a day or whatever for one right, day right. Free, and i'll put it up free for like three days or something i'm like well at least if i'm upset i can make somebody else's day yeah <laughs> is there like a, a misconception about you like just as being a mother who's in the adult film industry because i mean it's not just you there's tons of people in the adult industry who are parents but like i feel like that gets judged in a in a way just from people not understanding it but still like what's your like so with being in that? the adult industry in general because i'm so new to porn <laughs> <laughs> i love it so um i hate it I absolutely hate it, but then again, I don't care. I'm just like, whatever. So it sucks because the fact that, you know, even living in Red Deer and Alex was going to pre-K, these kids were having sleepovers and hanging out, but nobody would hang out with Alex because what? 
do you see my magnet or something on your husband's man cave or something or you see a poster because i'm pretty you know uh not hidden well if you know what i mean right, right. um so all my stuff is like pretty out there um yeah. and yeah so it just sucks out so like yeah mom i'm so sad that everybody's having a sleepover and so and so so i'm just like you, have you ever seen that meme of like the school moms and then there's like pennywise and then there's like that big group of them like looking at yes. him and pennywise is like this right I'm like, right right i'm always the pennywise of the group when it's like him going mm -hmm. to school i'm like oh great now i'm just like people have been like oh my god like how are you gonna feel when people are making fun of alex about like you know you doing porn and stuff i'm like well he already knew about the stripping and he knew that's how we have everything you know don't, <clears> don't have to stress about anything so uh long story yeah. short he had managed to get onto my laptop because i didn't lock it yet because when it shuts yeah. off you need to put the passcode on right so i yeah he he was clicking around and Pornhub popped up and he's five so yeah. i had to explain everything to him at such a young age and on yeah. top of that he was just the video that he saw is like mom how come that looks like a penis i'm like oh god it was the fuck machine oh, okay and i'm like okay i'm like okay well kiddo i need to talk to you about things and these things you can't yeah. talk about at school and not with anyone that stays between us you know your your grandparents know and your grandma knows like your great grandparents know, grandmother, so don't put grandpa about that because he just thinks I'm modeling. Uh, <laughs> he's the only person that thinks that. So like my mom knows, my dad knows, my two grandmothers know, they're super proud. My mom wasn't proud at first for that part, um, but now she opened up and she's proud. So I'm happy about that. So I have nothing to hide. Um, so I just told him exactly. I'm like, hey, Alex, like you remember how mommy was dancing, right? He's just mm. like, yeah, and you had the beautiful costumes, you work with pretty girls, like you, you're friends with the staff, whatever. Cause like, you know, Uncle Julian um is mm -hmm. with the VIP host in ecstatic, super adorable. Um yeah. but just like, you know, little stuff like that. Um and so with the porn, it's like, you know, obviously I have well this pornhub coffee mug because it's nice and cute but there's a water bottle but he always tries to take that water bottle out with us alex no i don't need you drinking out of that in public even when i have like the pornhub like top on with the pantsuit if yeah. i'm because i don't even know what i was doing that day i think i was just like trying to like take some pictures but mm -hmm. if i'm taking him to school if i can't find my long boots that cover up the pornhub logo i will literally quickly switch out of my clothes because i'm not that type of person to be like oh my god look you're gonna find me here it's like yeah. i'm very i i respect the other people around me because obviously mm -hmm. they're so closed off to it and it might make them uncomfortable so i'm like okay so um oh yeah so i had told him about that and like okay well and then that's when he found out that um kids don't come from a stork because that's what that's what other people have told him and he's just like mom I so i was in your tummy and then you know the whole thing because he knows about the monthly time because at times he's like mom are you bleeding do you need a tampon i'll grab you a tampon i'm like alex i'm like no it's right here it's like are you sure you don't need me to grab you one i'll grab you one so caring it's yep. so cute but um i've always just wanted to be honest with him even though people probably think that's like you know too much i'm like whatever he needs to know it's better for I mean, him to know now rather than later getting bullied in school because at least he can stick up for sure. himself for that. So I'm yeah. like, I just tell him, it's just like, I'm like, so, you know, explained everything because he found the toy drawer, which I yeah, think he would find because I told him he's not allowed in my room. So he found yeah. it and it's like, mom, I found all your penises. And I'm like, <laughs> stop, kid. So, uh, yeah, I'm like, kiddo, like, this is like, remember how I was dancing and I was always gone home like gone every night and you always had to be at a sitter's place and then I would pick you up and then you know it's just super tiring it's like yeah I was like so for me to stay home with you while you're in school full-time I quit dancing but I switched over to a different industry which requires me to work while you're away from school or when you're at grandparents I'm always working but that's the only time I'm gone away from you is when I actually got to work I was like other than, that, other than that I'm always with you and it's just like okay just and then yeah. so like just it's normal to him right so i'm just like 
Well, right. at least that's done out of the way. And I've told him not to talk about it at school or with other people mm -hmm. um, because, well, that's just in inappropriate. Nobody really needs to know our business. And I'm just like, yeah. that's how we're able to live the way we live. Right. Well, and I mean, yeah, I'm sure some people would think that, you, that that's too young to have like that conversation. But I mean, it's probably better to do it that way because if you can make it normal, Exactly. Then that then, probably helps in the long run because you know I mean it's it's foolish to think that like there won't be some drawback you know I mean it's just yeah. the way people like there's no person on the planet more cruel than like a 12 year old boy like <laughs> they're fucking evil like right? evil so like but if you but if it's a thing that's like been normalized you know in the house then yeah. that probably you probably have helped them like a lot by doing that even though some people are gonna judge it i'm sure but that's just because people will judge anything and people i'm exactly. sure judge you. people judge like what you do but my I mean, tattoos the way i look yeah exactly like you should I mean, I'm get sure, botox in your face you're gonna rock yourself and look like the lion lady i'm like those are fillers yeah 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 and but i mean i'm sure that that happens like i'm sure that other moms like judge you but I mean, so what? Like, ultimately, they're not part of your family, so. Exactly. So why? Like, that's why I'm honest. I open like I was like mortified. I'm like, oh gosh, why did I have to have this talk with him? But I'm glad that you said it. Is because like he needs to know that, and then also growing up, he'll be able to defend himself. Like he's already getting bullied in school. A kid threw his gloves. They're expensive snowboarding gloves. So mm -hmm. those are now gone, and. I ask him all the time. He's getting bullied in school from girls too. He's like, mom, I think my back is broken. I'm like, why? He's like, girl pushed me and then a boy pushed me. I'm like, what are they doing in these schools? Like, I kind of just want to put him in like a home school. But if I do that, then I can't work at all. So I'm just like, I'm, yeah. I decided like, I, I'm, I'm against violence, but I'm going to sure. teach him. The point is, um, if they don't stop after you've asked them nicely to stop and you know you go to tell an adult and they're not doing anything mm -hmm. i'm putting my girlfriend and i are putting our kids in self or self defense class because That's you know what I'm, I'm tired of him coming like picking him up from school and then him hiding his feelings until we get to the car and start crying and i'm just like yeah. what is wrong with people like what is wrong like how how are they raising their kids like it's so messed up. Well, I was bullied lots in school too, being questioned too much. Yeah, so was the dyke at grade five. And I didn't even know what a dyke was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. very bisexual. I know that now, but I wasn't back then. I was innocent. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, yeah, damn. No, I mean, I was bullied like crazy for being like a little like fat kid and stuff. And now I look back and I just don't really give a shit that it happened. Which is kind of what I think happens to everybody. You get to a certain point where you're just like, I don't even but care that I used to get bullied. But you appreciate it's it. It's when it's happening, though. Like when it happens, you don't think about that. That oh, one day I'll look back on this. Like that is nowhere exactly. in your mind. Like, but it I, helps if oh you can God. have. It helps, like if you can have a way to defend yourself. Like not exactly. to just go around beating the shit out of people, but. You know, just to have something to where people might be less likely to like fuck with you. Exactly. It helps. I mean, it's. I think it's a good idea for sure. Like. Yeah. So I want to do that, and then he wants to go in gymnastics. So I'm like, whatever. I'll put you in gymnastics. I'll put you in a fighting class, maybe kickboxing, and Muay Thai. So that way you can learn the standing stuff, and then you can also learn the floor work stuff if somebody tries to like put you in a lock and stuff like that, because that's not gonna yeah. happen. I'm like. I refuse yeah. to like let you feel defeated. Like I don't right. promote violence, but if this is the way it's gonna be in school, hell no. He's gonna learn hopefully from the best here and yeah. protect himself from yeah. getting hurt. Cause I don't need him for the abuse in school, falling into hard drugs mm -hmm. and you know, not having a good life because I didn't pick up on that and I didn't do something to fix it. Right. Yeah, yeah, which I don't think anybody could look at you and think like a bad thing about like, you know, like you as a mom, but it's just the shitty thing that like people will inevitably still do it. Right. And it's just, but I guess that just comes with everything. Like people are eager to judge because 
you know, it's easy to say, it's like the whole argument that like people have that it's hard to be in a relationship with someone who does porn. Like if, if you, like, let's say me, I'm not in porn, but if I dated someone who was in porn, yeah. that people just inevitably think that that couldn't work, which I'm sure in most cases it probably can't because of the way that the person is, who's not in porn, like jealousy yeah. creeps up on you. Like, but I still think people are just too quick to judge it. Exactly. Yeah. That's the issue nowadays. People, there's no communication and there's too much expectation. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, that's the main killer of things. And people, even the outside world of judging, you're just like, you don't even know what's going on. Right. Right. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I think you definitely are doing it the right way for sure. Well, like thank I'm, you. No, no problem. But yeah. I'm, yeah, I've had a really good time talking to you. I know I kind of don't want to hold you too long. So uh, where can everybody uh, check you out at? Uh, so I have my website that links it to most of my pages. I need to update mm -hmm. it more, but it's uh, www.missdarcydiamond.com. And then okay. also on my website links my uh, Instagram page, the Pornhub page, my OnlyFans, uh, my MFC page. Um, what else is on there? Uh, I do ha offer texting and video calls and phone calls, and it's called it's called Sex Panther. So that's also listed on there too. If people want to text and chat, um, because let's be realistic, the DMs blow up. You're not going to want to message every single person on there. So it's a paid for app. They pay to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So it's like they could take cash, um, gift cards and stuff like that. So it's not just like not cash. Um, so it's not just credit card. So you can use gift cards to put a balance on okay so that way you know you're not having a weird bill come onto your credit card <laughs> you'll load yeah. up on those um subway sandwiches yeah <laughs> gift cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah um so yeah there's that so yeah porn i said porn, yeah i said all of them i think mm -hmm. and suicide girls Perfect. Perfect. Oh yeah. And then last question, one that we ask everybody, if uh, just going based off of our conversation, if I were to do porn, what would my porn name be? Cause you have a good one. Darcy Diamond is a, like a really badass name. Anything that's like an alliteration, like there's something like super catchy about it, you know, like D D. So. And I got double D's after my boob job happened in 2017. It just worked out perfectly. <laughs> Um, and my butthole is kind of like a diamond. <laughs> it looks really good. Yeah. Um, what would your name be? Yeah. There have been some pretty good ones. So not to make you nervous, but there's been some, some pretty solid ones given to me so far, but I'm still trying to find the right one. Hmm. I was I was gonna throw the salt and pepper thing out there, but I'm like you're 26, so you're not you're not uh, up there anymore. Right. It's a little false advertising, kind of. I feel like a cougar right now. Wait, you're four years older than me, right? Yeah. That's not a freaking cougar. Like we could have went to high school together. Maybe. You're you're now the cougar um, prowler. The Cougar Prowler. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Because get it, you, you were with an older woman and you got to do her in the butt and the, the vag at the same time when she's on her period. True. True. But then True. you also like slayed the dragon on that one. So Dragon Slayer, Cougar Prowler. <laughs> yeah. Or Cougar Slayer. Just mix them both. Yes. Okay, that one. The Cougar Slayer. Hell yeah. All right, perfect. I think I, I got to settle on that one then. None yeah, of the other milf, the gilf, you have no, uh, you have no preference. Hell no, <laughs> hell no. That's perfect. Well, thank you so much again. Like I really had a great time talking to you. Thank you. I'm excited to rewatch this. Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Well, what?
attention. Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. I tell you, you start counting five like a sucker. Hey.